morning guys, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer, and we are still in Oklahoma. This is day, what, three or four okay. of our road trip. So we are road tripping it out west from North Carolina, and we're stopping by to see a few guys from uh, Oklahoma here that have some similar YouTube channels. So we're gonna check them out. We're going to Keeping It Dutch right now. Keeping It Dutch is in the uh, area of Oklahoma that is very flat and very cowious. I would say, and bumpy, I would say cowius. Cowius may not be a word, but when there are a lot of cows in an area, I like to call it cowius. Guys, come on along and we're gonna go see old Dutch. Dutch is a Marine Corps veteran and I'm an Air Force veteran, so it'd be nice to get a couple veterans together and have some fun and check out his pigs and his farm. He lives in a pole barn, which is pretty rad. I've never been to a guy's house that lives in a pole barn. We did a video a while back, I'll post the link somewhere right in here, to my buddy that lives in a culvert pipe. He lives in a Quonset hut. You can check that out, but we're gonna check out Dutch's place. He lives in a pole barn. He's got some pigs and he's got a cool bunker out back. So we're gonna go down in the bunker and check it out. Doomsday, baby. I don't really, I don't subscribe to that, but it'll be fun. Woo! Hey, Danielle. What's up? Wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? Uh-oh, what's that? <laughs> So yesterday we went to Arms Family Homestead and we passed it and today we went to Keeping It Dutch and we passed Keeping It Dutch. <laughs> and we're gonna change Keeping It Dutch's channel to Keeping It Real, Keeping It Real Lost in the middle of nowhere, Oklahoma. But this is somewhere to somebody. It's somewhere to somebody, it's their home. All right, here is the place. Right there is the pasture where animals are pastured. Not to be confused with a pastor who works in a church. What we got here? Some genuine Oklahoma chickens right there. And that's a KID, keeping it Dutch. What's up, man? How much are you? Nice to meet you. Introductions have been made. Something we've been really curious about on Stony Ridge Farm is getting some sheep because we have goats and the goats keep getting out, but we want some lawnmowers. Sheep are awesome lawnmowers. We're going to talk to Dutch about his sheep. Well, there's a high market for sheep. Mm -hmm. All the Mexicans have to their body shed. Mm -hmm. Hey, piggy boys. I remember watching you guys when y'all were just little. All right, so we're here with Dutch here. What's up, guys? And we're checking out his pigs. So you got a couple pigs over here, right? Yeah, a couple feeder pigs. We're taking to the butcher probably the end of October. What kind of pigs are they? Like a heritage uh, breed? Or? Yeah, they're Yorkshire. Okay. They're cool. brothers. Right on. Brothers? Yep, brothers till the end. You know right on, brothers till the end. That's good stuff. Brother sausage is the best oh, sausage. Man, I'm telling you. So you got a couple sheep right here too. I see you like behind us yeah, over there, right in here somewhere. We're down to two Dorper sheep right here. You can see them back there behind you. Yeah. Kind of look a little mangy, but they're hair sheep and they're, they're supposed to shed all their hair, but these ones aren't really full blood, so they don't do what they're supposed to. What do you use the sheep for? Uh, the sheep, I just raise really just for the meat market. We sell them, we got a local auction, uh, probably about 20 miles from here that will take we get a few of them saved up and we'll take up there and take to the auction. Cool. People just buy them for, uh, they're trying to get their own flock going and or just for the meat market. I know sheep, you can have anywhere from seven to 10 sheep per acre. You know, that's if the grass is growing good. And nice. All that. So we watched you kind of come along here and build this uh, pig pen and oh, yeah. from, from scratch. Guys, if you want to check out Dutch's channel, you can kind of watch how he's taking uh, these pigs and and made something pretty awesome a little pen here this pen's and, uh, raised about 12 pigs i think over the last several years nice so dutch these two pigs you have one black one and one white one hey like so racially these pigs are pretty cool they get yeah, along absolutely. they get along great there's All no right. fighting i mean nice dutch tell me about where you live this this looks like uh, you live in a pole barn is that right yeah we live in a barn Living a born in a barn. Born well, we weren't born here, but we live in a barn. So tell me about the barn that you live in. Well, it's a 30 by 50 pole barn. Out here in Oklahoma, um, it's pretty common 
for people to build these pole barns. Like you, like you said earlier, you're driving in, you've seen another one yeah, down the yeah, road. Yeah. It's kind of a thing out here because they're so cheap to build and you can build a big place for low cost. Yeah. And that's what we did. Uh, we had like a three or four year plan that we was going to live in this pole barn and build us a house. And we're right there. We're, we're about to start building a house. Well, it kind of looks like, if you guys can see, it looks like a ranch house, but it's a pole barn. What, beside it you've got a tiny house yeah, thing going on? Yeah, we've got all kinds of little houses. So right there, it looks like uh, we've got a tiny house. Uh, get use it your nephew? Or? Yeah, my nephew Dylan. Okay. So his nephew is living or was living in the tiny house and they were building it out and there's a whole lot of videos on Dutch's channel. Uh, I'll post a link to his channel right here. You can go in there and subscribe. But they were, they've been working on a tiny house in there, putting the bathroom in, putting sink and, and a bedroom and all that stuff. It's kind of cool. Go to his channel and check it out. And there's also like there's a tour of your house in there. Yeah, there's okay. quite a few videos so, on that. So you guys can go check out a tour of his house. Everything living in a pole barn, pretty cool. Pole, the, hey, pole barn living, guys. What's all about? Yeah, and I think what another group of folks came out here and did a video. Yeah, on Dirt, Dirt Patch Heaven came out here and they did yeah. a video on it too. So we're going to get with Dirt Patch Heaven. They're actually in Tulsa, Oklahoma. But I'm sorry, John, we couldn't get with you this morning. We've got to drive all the way to Denver here in just a little bit. And it's like 10 hours. And we've got to meet a buddy for some chili for dinner at the Duck Fart Farm. And we'll take, a, <laughs> we'll take you to Duck Fart next. But Is it Duck Chili? It's, it might be Duck Chili. <laughs> so guys, we want to go and check out the final thing here. We want to go check out the bunker, OK? This guy's video has got like a million hits yeah, it's on. Crazy. It's like a million hits on the bunker that he has built out here. And it's. It's very hidden into the landscape. It's like right over here in this general vicinity, vicinity. We're gonna go over there, check it out. Hey guys, check out this little tiny house. It's old Dylan's project. He was living in here for a little bit, but some uh, life events happened. Now he's gonna sell the place. So any guys interested, hit us up. You got the ceiling in and working on the bathroom here. A uh, little toilet. We won't. Yeah, there's a shower. Yeah, there's a shower. Get in there. Dylan's like five four, so it's yep. perfect for him. There's a shower in here. Tiny houses are cool if you're not a gargantuan, huge monster of a man. If you're not seven and, foot tall, yeah. I mean, it's doable. Yeah, so here is my tiny house adventure. We also live in a tiny house, and we'll tell you all about it when we get back to North Carolina. It's a tiny house called a mobile home, 14 by 80. Oh, yeah, made by Oakwood. Isn't Mrs. Stony Ridge pretty? Oh, <laughs> isn't Aww. Mr. Stony Ridge handsome? No, he's not. <laughs> he's not. But I was wondering when we got out here whether my gut would be bigger than Dutch's. And... <laughs> He's barely got me beat. I just lost 30 pounds, so Dang. we're gonna inspire him. So back here is the bunker. This is kind of a very common thing to have here in Oklahoma for the storms, because if you look, woo, it's nice and flat. Good old tornado country right here. So if the family has to run out, they run out the door over here and run and get in the bunker and hide from Bin Laden or tornadoes, whichever one, well, Bin Laden's gone now, so Al Qaeda or whatever it is, you know, this week, that is attacking Americans everywhere in the world, you can get that bunker right there. So we're gonna go down in it and check it out and see if we can get bit by a spider. Woo! What size is this thing? I think it's like, I don't wanna lie to you, but I will. I think it's seven by eight. Seven by eight-ish. You might and hit your head in there too. Probably hit my head. We're gonna go down in here. Hello, and the chickens are standing in line to get in the bunker too. Black widows. Oh, my eye. Okay, so down in here, we've got some food storage in a cot as with the tiny house i can't stand up in the bunker either but the bunker is way cool we've been thinking about getting one of these for stony ridge farm just so we'd have a place to store things because we're living in a mobile home right now and we'd be able to store our uh, canned goods and stuff like that pretty cool awesome little bunker here let's go back out it's steamy down there guys look at this they're so fogged up. It's so steamy down there. So here's the bunker, guys, and it just kind of camouflaged in here. Even the chickens don't even know it's there. Got a little uh, breather pipe here and a breather pipe. I guess there's a pipe on the in the top and the pipe in the bottom to allow gases to rotate through the bunker here. And just kind of camoed in. So a necessity in a place like Oklahoma is one of these bunkers, especially if you don't have a basement to go crawl in. So guys, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer, and this is Dutch with Keeping It Dutch. We're here in Oklahoma, and we just wanted to show you a few things that Dutch has going on. We want to collaborate with a couple channels here. Check out this bunker, which is awesome, awesome stuff. And uh, 
that's it. Just get together, a couple of YouTubers, a couple of YouTube and up. yeah, YouTube and homesteaders. Dutch knows he's welcome on our place at any time. We're gonna build a cabin pretty soon. I'd like to have you Oklahoma boys Heck up yeah. there. Yeah, do some shooting, have some good times. So, Can't guys, wait. thanks for watching Stony Ridge Farmer here at Dutch's place on Keeping It Dutch. So come on back and see us. Click that like button and subscribe to the channel. All right. Woo! Well, come on <laughs> down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife. Ooh, it's bright. It's like coming out of a club in the morning. What I just said, that's not going on the video. <laughs> I have nine chins. Lemon face. Ooh. Lion face. Ah. Lemon face. Ooh. Lion face. Ah. Ah.